Hey everybody, Mike Brooks here, and I want to share with you a known issue with LinkedIn so that you're aware of what's going on, because there is a problem with something that I uh, use every day and that I've been teaching people to use every day for a long time. I want to share with you the issue. So this may or may not work because it's, it's a bug and it doesn't always work, but I'm going to show you what I've seen, and I'm going to go and start with my connection requests here and I'm going to accept this request from Chuck. Of course I'm going to have to check and see if he gave me a personal. Nope, he, he hit the LinkedIn button. I'll have to yell at him. But I'm going to accept this and then I'm going to go back and look at Chuck and here is what I see. Now do you notice anything that's missing? Okay, if you didn't notice, what's missing is the relationship tab. That is missing from, should be right here. So I, sh I cannot tag Chuck right now. I cannot um, tag him. I cannot make notes. And that is a huge problem uh, for me. Now, we know that LinkedIn has taken away the ability for you to do that with anybody other than first degree connection. So if you're not connected with a person, you cannot use that relationship tab. And they actually started rolling that out a while ago. Um, literally, actually on the day that I was doing one of my first LinkedIn trainings, that's when they rolled this change out. So only can you, you're only allowed to use the relationship tab, you'll only see it when you have a first degree connection. So if there's a second or third degree connection, you're not gonna see the relationship tab anyway. You gotta be connected with them. Fair enough. Um, as long as they don't take it away for that. Now, what I'd like to show you is a couple of things. So it's been a few minutes, it's been about 20 or so minutes since I um, accepted Chuck's connection. So I went to the home screen and I'll show you what I want you to do here. You're going to go to the home screen, so you're going to get right out, and then we're going to go back into that contact. And I think you can do this immediately, and you'll see the relationship tab is back. So this was 23 minutes ago. I tested this about 15 minutes after I connected with him, and the relationship tab was back. So what I would suggest you do is when you accept a person's connection request, go to the home screen, click on LinkedIn here and go to home and then go back into that contact and you should see it back. Now if it's not back then, wait a couple hours. If it's not back within a day, you're going to want to go over here to Help Center and you're going to want to go and email them. I would just go send us a send us a message and then I would tell them, "Listen, I'm connecting when I connecting when I connect with new LinkedIn connections, my relationship uh, tab does not show up right away." and they'll, they'll make a note of it. So that way they'll at least watch your account and they'll know that you've reported the bug. Now, I recommend highly having a backup plan. Not a bad idea to do anyway, and I'll show you a spreadsheet and I, I'm making this brand new here for you. So, very simple. First name, last name, connected, date. Yes, we connected today. Here's my tags, right? I'm tagging them here. I've got my sales pipeline here. He's already a partner. Um, I've noted that uh, Chuck connected with me and then I'm setting up for a next action date and I'm saying here's what the next action is going to be. I used to do this all the time and uh, so I still do this because I like to keep things in little lists and I keep a master list and I keep little breakdown lists and you can do this any way you want uh, and if you're interested in how I use this and how I've used it, let me know and I'll, I'll do a webinar on it and maybe provide some templates for you. So just email me and let me know. Um, or get in touch with me somehow, let me know what you think about that. And it's not a bad idea also to go in and do this every now and then. Go into your connections, click on the little thingy here, and do this, export LinkedIn connections. Get them out of here, get them off LinkedIn, just in case. If, you know, once a month I do this. Once a month I just download it to a CSV file, so that I have it in a spreadsheet in case I have to upload that back to LinkedIn. This is LinkedIn is called rented property. It's what we know as what we know as rented property. We use it because it's there's millions of people on there. Our prospects are all over the place on LinkedIn. It is a vast uh, open open room of prospects just waiting to be prospected to. We on our own website, we have stuff on our own website, you know, nothing's really going on there unless we drive traffic to it. But this is a highly trafficked network, so it is well worth doing pulse 
blog posts, doing blog posts on this network for the traffic that you can tap right into, and reaching out and talking to your leads and, and connections. It is just a great, great place. You absolutely should be using it, but you've got to remember it's rented property. You do not own LinkedIn. LinkedIn can pull the carpet out from under you. Fair is fair. They can do it anytime they want. It is their website. So they can change the rules, and they do. So I have these backup plans to protect myself. So I suggest you do the same. All right, thanks for watching this video and reach out to me. Let me know if this was helpful or if you have any questions, I'd be happy to set up a webinar or future trainings based on this. All right, happy connecting.